This video is going to share tips on how to self-level bathroom floors. We're going to show you how to properly prep the bathroom floor and then also how to pour the self-leveler and get great results. After removing a tile floor, I was left with thin set mortar residue on the surface and I often get asked how to remove this. I recommend using an angle grinder and a diamond cup wheel along with some gloves and a dust shroud to cut down on the dust when we remove the thin set. Also sweep the floor so that you don't have any debris that will be kicked up by the grinder. Then dampen the wood subfloor with a sponge. Also, use the handle that comes along with the grinder to control the grinder. As you can see here, it's a really great tool combination to remove thinset off the wood subfloor. Also, use the joint compound knife to take any of the excess residue off of the wood. Then just simply use the sponge to clean off the rest. If you want to take this process to the next level and keep it safe, you can plug your grinder into a HEPAVAC, turn the HEPAVAC on, it will also turn the grinder on at the same time, and the dust shroud combined with the HEPAVAC really does a great job of cutting down on the dust in the room. You can also still dampen the wood subfloor, and I do recommend that because it does help keep the environment nice and safe. But this is a critical step in prepping your floor for self-leveler. I then used a shop vac to pull up any of the dust off of the wood subfloor and make sure it was ready for the next step, which was to apply feather finish to it. I'll explain why in a moment. So you wanna mix up one part water, use a measuring bucket for this, pour the water into another bucket, then add two parts feather finish to the water. So two parts feather finish, one part water. Then use a standard drill and a mixing paddle to mix the feather finish up to the right consistency. That's really important. Then you can use a steel trowel to apply the feather finish in between the seams of the plywood panels. We're doing this because this is going to ensure that the self-leveler doesn't go into any adjacent rooms. So just apply the feather finish in between panels and over top of any screws or nails that are penetrating through the wood subfloor. These are the directions that Ardex recommends for using their self-leveler, so we're gonna get into that a little bit later on. But as you can see here, I filled in all the seams, all the screws with the feather finish, and the nice thing is, this takes about a half an hour to an hour to cure, so it doesn't take that long to use. I then used great stuff in between the bottom plate and the wood subfloor to seal any gaps. This is really important because what it does is seal the bathroom floor and ensure that the self-leveler is gonna be contained to just this space and not any adjacent rooms. So simply just go along the perimeter between the wood subfloor and the bottom plate, and then you can also use it around any drain holes in the floor or toilet flanges, and this is oddly satisfying. Once the great stuff cures, you wanna mix up Artex P51 primer and pour this over top of the subfloor and the Artex feather finish. You can use a stiff bristle brush to work this into the subfloor. This is a critical step because if you don't use primer over top of a wood subfloor or even a concrete floor, it's possible that your self-leveler won't bond properly to the substrate. So make sure you don't skip this step and use a stiff bristle brush. You can use a broom like this or even a cement brush and allow the P51 primer to cure. These next several steps are really important. I used a newborn caulking gun to apply silicone between the subfloor and the great stuff. This is an insurance policy, number one, that the self-leveler will be contained to the bathroom floor. It also ensures that the sill seal will bond to the silicone. Sill seal is the pink stuff I'm applying to the bottom plate and the drywall. This is about an eighth inch thick. I'm just stapling it every 16 inches. And what's nice about this is it provides you with the necessary expansion and contraction joint along the perimeter. Then what I did was I placed a level on the wood subfloor and found all the uneven spots. You can then add some screws into the wood subfloor as height indicators for the self-leveler. This will help you determine if you've added enough self-leveler to the floor. So you need to do this around the bathroom floor. Then once again, shop back the entire bathroom floor. We're gonna be using Ardex K22. I also used the Colamix Aquix. It's a really awesome device that automatically adds the necessary amount of water to the bucket. In this case, four and a half quarts of water for one bag of K22F. So you wanna add the water first, and then I use the dust extractor from Colamix as well as their mixer. These are two awesome things that cut down on the dust. I added the K22F to a bucket, so you wanna mix up your first bucket here. As you can see, that dust extractor is awesome, and then mix it up per the directions. 
you're shooting for a nice creamy consistency and having a dedicated mortar mixer for this really helps out. So you want to mix up your first bucket, let it sit there for about two minutes and then mix up your second bucket. You should be mixing up multiple buckets because this is going to help you with all of your pours. So at least mix up two buckets at a time. And then I started in the shower area and poured the self leveler around the shower drain and then worked my way out of the bathroom. As you can see here, the process goes pretty quick. And then you want to agitate the self leveler either with a spiked roller or a squeegee. This is really important and sometimes people skip it. They just think that a self leveler is going to level itself and it will to a certain extent, but you still need to agitate it. So I use the spiked roller first and then I also use the squeegee to help out with that process. So hopefully these tips help you self level your bathroom floor. If you like the tips in the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to see future tutorials. Take care and have a great day.